Hi guys, it's Alex. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. And in this video, we are reorganizing my makeup. Now, I'm someone that tends to do that a lot. Like with my anxiety, just moving around my makeup is very therapeutic for me. If you guys have watched um, some of my Shot My Stashes, I feel like something is different almost every single time I film one. But this time, I really want to try to not change it and just keep it the way I am going to make it, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, I bought some little new containers and stuff so we're just gonna see what we can do and you know work with what we got so before we get started i would love for you to stick around and subscribe it means so so much to me it helps get my channels my my channels it helps get my channel and my videos out there and youtube would also recommend other videos of mine they think you would like and looking at my analytics over half of you guys are not subscribed but watch my videos so i would love if you guys if you guys watch my videos and not subscribed to subscribe it's free just please give it a shot thank you in advance if you do it mean it would mean so much to me now without further ado let's just hop on in to this hot mess all right um this is what i'm working with i'm really just trying to focus on this drawer a little bit this is like where my foundations are this drawer i want it to be my lip drawer again i had it in my lip drawer a while ago and then I want to try to fit all my blushes, bronzers, and highlights in here. Um, I did recently get these. These were on sale at Ulta. They came in a pack of three, so I got three of them. Um, they're just little storage containers. Oops. Now, they do not fit perfectly into the Ikea drawers that I just showed you, but I think I can make them work and I can be a little bit creative with it. But I'm so ready to finally just have something that's more permanent since, like I said, I change my makeup around often. And I did recently move my um, face palettes back. Actually, before I filmed this, because I was like, oh, I should film this. I put my face palettes back in here. My lip products were in here for a little while, but I really liked them in the drawer more. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is to wipe down my drawers. Now, I can't show you guys that process because my big tripod broke. Um, it's officially broken. I've had issues with it for a while. Um, so I guess I could try to do it with my tripod. We'll see. Or like the tripod in my hands. But I'm going to first clean out these drawers down here. These um, Actually, I don't think I'm going to clean this one out. To be honest, I don't have room to put any of it. And I'm just not motivated to do that. So I'm going to just wipe down these two drawers really, really quick. Now let's see if I can do this without the drawer moving constantly with one hand. These drawers actually weren't too dirty. I wonder if I, did I clean them recently? I feel like it's been a while. I don't remember cleaning them last. Um, yeah, I'm actually really happy with how I kept this so clean considering how often I room around my makeup. The next drawer though could be a different story. Um, it's not as bad as I thought, but yeah, it's pretty messy since I usually, I've never really changed too much in this drawer, but I've had a lot of bronzer, you know, moving around makeup and stuff. So I guess that makes sense. I'm trying to literally not breathe heavy into the like speaker or like the microphone. So I apologize if you hear my heavy breathing, but I think that's good. I didn't have to wipe down too much. So yeah, I am so ready to reorganize these drawers. So now let's get started. Okay. I first want to start off with the lips because I feel like that would be the easiest possibly. And my son is watching um someone play a kirby game on youtube so that um is him so please don't mind that um i want to put this in the drawer first i got this also on sale from ulta it's from the same brand i think it's called eye design um if they're still on sale at ulta or if you guys are interested i will just link them down below um yeah this can hold 18 bullet lipsticks so i'm gonna just put this right here for right now and put in my bullet lipsticks and we'll see how that's going to look i'm happy i kind of categorized so I have them right here. So let's see. Um, I don't know how I want to do this. I'm overthinking this as usual. I think I want to put the Urban Decay ones right here. And I have three of them left. Where are they? Um, I'll find them in a sec. And then I want to put the Milani ones that I am obsessed with right in the front. Because I also only have three of them. Oops. Why do I always grab them upside down? Okay, and let's see, Patrick Ta. Here's another one of the Urban Decays. Okay, now I'm probably just going to speed this part up because otherwise this will take forever or like be really boring to watch. Okay. 
Okay, that was actually easier than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think I was going to get that on the first try. Now, I still have these three, but they're like minis, so I know it's going to not look cute, but I'm just going to literally put them right here for now. But I did recently just do a declutter, so I really don't want to like declutter again, you know what I mean, to try to make things work. Okay, well, that's not cute, but that's just going to have to do. Okay, let's move on now. So next, I think I want to put in the longest one of the pack of three. Like there's like, this is the longest size and there's like a medium and then like a small little cube. I think I want to put this one right here. But before that, I actually think, I'm just going to grab this one right here. I'm going to put it right here because I think my NYX butter glosses will fit in here really, really well. So I'm going to see if that works real quick. That worked literally perfectly. And then I also have two NYX lip creams I'm just going to put on top. That's perfect. Wow. Okay. That worked way better than I expected. I didn't think it was actually going to work out. Now I'm going to move on to this one. Um, and I think I'm going to put some glosses and lip tints and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. I know I just put this here, but I actually feel this won't fit here, unfortunately, because these aren't like designed for Ikea drawers. But I'm going to put this back here and I feel like I could fit like most of my the rest of my lip products in here for the most part there might be some things I can't fit like my lip liners for example I'm sorry if it's so shaky guys I'm sorry my tripod's like my big tripod's broken and stuff let's see what we can do here Okay, so this is all my lip products besides the ones that are like in my projects and stuff. And I'm really happy with that. It's a little crowded, but I can still like I have an idea of where everything is. Um, so real quick, you know, you guys kind of saw I have my NYX butter glosses and my NYX lip creams in this little cube. And then I have all my bullet lipsticks right here. And then in this drawer or this little section, I have some glosses, some tinted lip balms, like lip tints, you know, more like lip tints and then glosses and then glosses all back here and I'm liking it I'm like it I want to fit my lip liners in here and obviously I can't put another one of these right here but my old stuff I used to have where did it go so these I used previously and these worked really really well I just didn't like that sometimes they change their shape like with the products and stuff which makes sense because it's kind of like flimsy a little bit but I feel like this would be perfect for my lip liners and right now my lip liners are just like in a little pencil holder or like a like a holder for like pens and pencils and stuff so I'm just gonna grab them real quick and just kind of like dump them in is this gonna be smart I guess I only dropped one that's not bad all right there we go and that is the lip drawer. I don't know. What do we think? Should I keep it like this? Are these like a good idea? I kind of like that I have them separated. But at the same time, it looks like cluttered but organized. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. But now let's move on to the blush bronzer highlight drawer. The drawer that I am dreading. So like I previously mentioned, um, or like you guys saw in like the other the lip drawer that I can't fit the three longest ones all next to each other. There's the drawer is just a little bit too small for that. So I think I'm gonna either have to put the two the last two super long ones on the sides like this. Look, it's cracked. That's sad. Okay, on like this and have 
you know, one of the categories in the center right here, or I have them next to each other and I have the other category right here. Um, knowing my blushes, I'm going to need more than just this one. Um, I guess we could see if like the medium size would fit behind. Yeah, let's see if that works. Wow, that fit literally just like barely any wiggle room. That worked really, really well because I'm thinking I can put all my blushes right here, like in these two. Like this one could be maybe if I can fit all my powder, that would be really nice. And like my like creams and liquids, I think that would be really, really cool. And then like um, highlighters, I think I want to put my highlighters in one of these and have my bronzers be either right here or in the center. Um, I think I want to try it like this first. Uh, blushes right here bronzers and then highlighters and we'll see I think I'm gonna put um another one of these back here as well so I'm gonna do that just real quick okay I think we can make something work here I'm pretty set on having my bronzers not be in here since I have a couple really big bronzers um like the Marc Jacobs one for example so let's just let's just get started and see what we come up with here okay it's hard to see but i do have them back there i kind of struggled to put my patrick ta duos back there but i'm going to now grab my lys cream blush and try to put that back here all right and then since i have a bunch of the undones i'm gonna put them right there but now i'm gonna put these ones in front if i can of the undones let's see move 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 oh my gosh okay all right, there we go. And then I have this little bite melon mojito, which I want to put right there. We'll see if that works because I have my other blushes. I have a couple other blushes from my Shop My Stash I need to put back, but I kind of want to get this situated first and then put the ones from my Shop My Stash back. Um, but I don't think that's too bad for like majority of like my cream liquid. Well, these are basically all cream besides the Bite Beauty one. I think that's a good start. So now I want to move on to my powder blushes and put them in here so i want to start with my patrick ta uh, right there and now i'll speed this up and we'll see how this goes Okay, I'm struggling here a bit, and that is not all my blushes. All my blush, I have other smaller blushes, like another Persona, and that it's got to be either with my bronzers or highlighters. So that's not all my blushes. So I'm going to definitely have to figure that out in a minute. Um, do I want to figure that out right now, or should I move on and then figure it out? See, my mind wants to go all over the place and just go to something else. I feel like my blushes are with my highlighters right now, so I think I'll put the highlighters in. And if my blushes are there, then I'll go back to blushes. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so these are all of my powder highlighters, I believe. And yes, my blushes were with, the rest of my blushes were with my highlighters. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try to rearrange this a little bit, but I still don't think I'll be able to fit on my blushes. Something's telling me I won't, but I still have a little bit of space right here. So I might be able to fit maybe the rest of like my smaller blushes right here. Um, I'm going to try to do it with one hand, move everything around. Um, we'll see how that goes. If not, then I will have to like cut it obviously. And then I'll show you guys afterwards, but let's see if I can do it.
right. Um, I mean, I got to fit more. I still can't fit this, like, last little overblush, so I'm figure that out later. And I still have to put these back somewhere because they won't fit back there. I'm going to see if I can fit my cream bronzer highlights and maybe the rest of my blushes in that one. And then we can put the powder bronzers right here. So real quick before I do that, I have my powder blushes here and a little bit right here, like my smaller ones. Um, yeah. And then my highlighters here. So let's see if I can get the rest of my cream and liquid products back here. So highlighters, bronzers, and like these blushes. So let's do that real quick. Before I actually do that, I'm a little torn with where to put like my Charlotte Tilbury Falls filter in my Makeup by Mario blush and like bronzing stick in this kind of shape because they can fit back there. But I also would like love to like reach for them more. So like, should I put them up here? Oh crap, I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna put them back here for now and we'll see how it works because I might have to move things around. So we're gonna just have to put them way back there for now, but let's let's see how this goes. This is really hard to do back here. I'm so sorry guys, I might have to cut this, but we'll see. I feel like if I move those to the front, I might be able to fit everything else. So let me actually take out those things. I'm sorry guys, I had to cut that because I was struggling really, really bad. So I have the um, Makeup by Mario blush and bronzer and then the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury, which I feel like it's a good idea to have these up here so I can use them a little bit more. And then back here, I have the rest of them. So I have like my Charlotte Tilbury wands, my Rare Beauty blushes, my NYX High Glass, my Fenty Cream bronzer, the Drunk Elephant, Rosy Drops, the ABH Cream Bronzer, my Elf Bronzer and Blush, and stuff like that. So I think that works pretty well. Um, so this is what it's looking... Whoops. So this is what it's looking like so far. I need to put my powder bronzers here. So I'm going to do that real quick. And we'll see how that turns out. So I'm going to put like my Marc Jacobs back here. I guess like that. Because they're kind of big. And like my Charlotte Tilbury... My essence are pretty big too. I also forgot I had this Glover highlight. Um, can that fit right here? Oh, wow. Okay, that worked. Um, and then my Patrick Ta Cream and Powder Duo. Maybe put just like that. That looks a little weird, doesn't it? Maybe. Um, Okay, maybe I should do the smaller ones first. My mind is all over the place. Maybe, let's see, will this fit like this? Or should I put them like this? That doesn't fit like this. Okay, so it has to be kind of up. Anyway, okay, I'll figure that out in a sec. This, I feel I could improve this, but for now, I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is. So I did move my Bite liquid blush to over here, um, since I have most of my liquid blushes over here. Um, so yeah, I have my cream blushes right back here so undone lys patrick ta milani and bare minerals then i have all of my powders right here and the tiniest little bit right here all of my powder highlighters um all of my liquid uh liquid uh cream highlighters liquid cream bronzers and the rest of my blushes like my liquid blushes and my one cream ones over here and then all of my bronzers and then these three things that you've seen so that. Let me stand up here. Let's see. That is the best that I can do. That is a really busy, crazy drawer, but I do know where everything is. I have a good idea. Organized in a chaos way, chaotic way, maybe. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with this for now. And now I want to try to focus a little bit on my top drawer. So let's go there. Oh, I forgot this blush was here. I'll figure that out in a sec. So the last of those organizers that I bought um, that you guys have seen, I have two little small things left. And I feel like I could use them in this drawer. And I'm going to try to. I kind of want to put my concealers in this. And maybe brows in this. I don't know. Let's see. Let's take this out. And the concealers out. Um, right here. And right here. I, fortunately, if I even if I had a third one, it won't fit. But if I just move this down and move this down, I have a little section right here I could put something in. Um, because I want to keep my foundations right here. I like reaching for them right here. But I didn't like how far back this drawer went. So I like how I could be a little bit more compact. And I think if I put my concealer diagonally, 
it will still close. I'm going to do that first because I feel like that's the true test. I'll grab my concealers. This is the test. Let's see. Uh, it moved a little bit. Let's try again. Okay, that should work and then I think I can move it around and it'll be a little bit smoother while it closes so the concealers don't hit the top of the dresser um but here I want to try to put my brow stuff because I like to have my brow stuff all together so let's do that next I do have like a random potted eyeliner that I'm just gonna put in there and then I have a little sharpener that I think will fit right here Okay, I think that's it for my brow stuff. I like that. Okay, I like that a lot. And then right here, um, I really just have small primers. So I think I may just put my little tiny primers here. Like I have a little Ulta one, a little white one, Smashbox, another Smashbox, and Urban Decay, and then like my eye primer. And then the last thing I have are my color correctors right here. And since I'm not using these right now, since I'm finishing off my full-size primers, I think I'm okay with putting my color correctors just down right in here too, maybe. Let's see. There we have all my 8,000 mascaras, my all my powders, loose and pressed, and then another sharpener. The concealers that I put right here, I actually kind of like it because I can see them all versus kind of, I mean, I didn't dig that much in the old way, but I kind of like I can see them all right there. All my eyebrow stuff, besides like, my pencil and like one of my brow gels that I'm using right now. So that's perfect. This is perfect too, since um, that will work out since I just have little primers and some color correctors, which I will probably be getting rid of most of those color correctors and I'll be using up those primers, you know, in no time. And then my foundations. I really like how that looks. Okay, so here's the first drawer again. I should have taken before and afters. I didn't even think of that, but I did kind of start this midway then I sat down and started filming it so that could be why but here's the first drawer I'm really liking that a little bit more compact like there's a lot going on but it's categorized so I like that the second drawer the lip drawer I like it I don't think it's that bad you know I kind of categorized it by like type like brand and type like NYX butter glosses and stuff and like my bullet of six are organized like they're all by like brand or by like type like item from that brand so I like that and then my lip liners fit right there okay I wish I had something a little bit cuter than this but that will do that's perfect you know work with what we got and yeah I think I like that I like that a lot actually and then lastly the most chaotic drawer all the bronzers, blushes, and highlights. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on how to organize this better, I would be greatly appreciated because I'm happy to change things around if it would look maybe less chaotic. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. But I will also do an in-depth video um, of like how I store the rest of my makeup so you guys see everything, not just these three drawers. But that is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Your support and everything means so much to me. I hope you all have an amazing day and I hope you enjoyed this style of video. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great day. Bye, guys.